Hey everyone, Mo here, and before the video begins, I just want to let you guys know that my schedule has opened up for me to do coaching again. So if you're interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching for me to help you, whether you're a newer player and you want to excel at the game very quickly and learn the fundamentals without developing any bad habits early, or if you're an experienced player who's already maybe platinum or diamond and you're top 1%, but you need some help filling in the gap to get you to that 0.01% to make you just some of the best of the best, then hit me up on Discord and I can get you in some private one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons to help you polish up any skills you want to refine and help you learn all of the secrets to becoming a top player. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video of the five best decks to climb LOR ladder with. So this has been a really requested video. I put out a meta Monday every single Monday. So you guys can go ahead and go and watch that. Um, if you're interested to see how the meta is shifting from week to week to see what decks are being played more, the play rate of decks, the win rate of decks, uh, specifically I do master's ladders. Um, so if you're interested in how that's changing, you can go and watch that every single Monday. Sub here so you don't miss it. But also people ask me to do a, oh, what are the actual best decks to climb for ladder? Like what are my opinions on decks to climb for ladders? And what do I be using uh, to climb decks with on ladder? And and that's what this video is for. So before we get into the video, I wanted to remind you guys that 72% of the people that watch my videos still aren't subscribed to me. So if you guys could do me a huge, huge favor and click that subscribe button, that uh, helped me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment down below to let me know if you are enjoying these types of videos and what videos you want to see from me in the future, as well as go follow me on Twitch because I stream on there almost every single day. So with that intro out of the way, let's get into the five best decks for LOR ladder. Starting with number one, the most obvious, I have to get it out the way first, Mono Shurima. Mono Shurima, uh, the best deck in the game at the moment. It's very, very good. Uh, in Master's Ladder right now, the meta is literally play Mono Shurima or play an aggro deck that beats Mono Shurima. You'll see here out of the rest of the decks that I play, three of them hard counter Mono Shurima. So the meta very much is evolved around this deck Mono Shurima. And for a good reason, it is very good. Even in these bad matchups like the Pirates, the Riven Victors, the Yordle Arm, stuff like that, you can still win games. The fact that people are still putting up these insane win rates while over half the ladder is these hard counter decks should speak volumes of just how absolutely broken this deck is. And the fact that it can beat the aggro decks, it can beat the combo decks, it beats the mid-range decks. Like, this deck has such an easy time dealing with so many decks that it's absolutely crazy you just have all the early game with things like people are playing dune keeper treasure seeker um i know kevor and myself have been playing um the i'm not gonna remember his name but he's played in this deck uh have been playing bomber twins a couple bomber twins in uh, azir zareth monastrima just to have a, again a better early game or a better way to trade units down stuff like that um and that's been helping out a lot with the aggro matchup so People are teching this deck to beat the aggro matchups and you're not losing out anywhere else. That shows you just how absolutely nuts this this deck is. So number one deck on the list is going to be the Azir Zareth. Number two on the list is going to be Pirates. This has, I believe, the highest win rate in the game across all ranks. Across all ranks on ladder, I think this has over a 60% win rate. Um, and Masters alone, I believe this deck has like a 57% win rate. So it's still absolutely bonkers. This deck destroys Mono Shurima if they don't high roll you. And this deck should beat a lot of the other just like random decks. So the thing is, Pirates beats random decks. Good aggro decks beat the random trash. Pirates also beat other aggro decks. Like you'll, you should usually beat Yordle in Arms because of your burn. Um, a lot of them can't really deal with burn like noxian fervor or decimate some people are playing um like double up some people are playing uh, a couple make it rains in there a mite or two uh, so extra burn and a lot of decks can't deal with the, that burn and uh pirates is actually the best aggro deck to beat things like field of rush because a lot of their removal spells their avalanches their uh blighted ravine stuff like that only deal two damage so um a lot of your units actually get around that misfortune gets around that uh demolitionist gets around that navigator gets around that and it's a lot of mana to commit for you to just go like okay turn one legion rear guard turn two legion rear guard and just attack you for six over and over and over again and your opponent has to eventually play an avalanche and then they're trading like a four mana slow spell for your like two one drops right and that's never really good for them you also see a lot of the ftr decks which is this will be the deck we go over next actually have cut back on a lot of uh board wipes like you see here this the most popular version or most successful version on ladder right now is only playing two blighted ravine and two box that's it for like mass board wipe zero withering whales 
zero actual avalanche like it's literally two bucks two blighted ravine as far as removal because a lot of field of rush ducks have just gotten giga greedy they're playing three faces of the old ones one weirding stones three catalysts some of them are even playing like the eight mana um ram spell because to uh we're basically in this huge combo meta right now so you're either playing the big combo deck or you're playing the aggro decks to beat the combo decks um, and that's all Feel the Rush is now, is just this big combo deck of, hey, how many combo pieces, your ramp pieces, can you find that'll lead you into this Ledros, this Feel the Rush, this Trindamir, this Atrocity, stuff like that extremely early and have a huge advantage over most of your opponents. And Pyrus just says, nah, fuck you, I'm just gonna hit you a bunch really quickly. Especially if you only have two, um, if you only have two Blighted Ravines and like, sure, Tavern Keeper isn't that great of a card against aggro, even though a lot of people think it is, I promise you it's not. Uh, Tavern Keeper is like only good against fearsome decks, but it's really not good against swarm style decks because this deck will go, okay, I play an Avros and Sentry on turn two, and you go, okay, on turn two, I'm already like three units wide, or turn, you know, three, I'm four units wide, or something like that. So you can usually be six units wide by turn four, um, easily by turn four, you're six units wide. And by turn four, they have at most an Avros and Sentry and like a Tavern Keeper, right? So you should be super fine by. You know destroying them uh them their control decks with your uh pirate deck so this uh very very solid deck i honestly this is probably the deck i'll be using to grind out ladder the next couple days i've been on the mono Shurima grind but um there's just too many hard counters and while you can beat the hard counters um it is still very hard you do have to draw somewhat well and uh it's very infuriating and then the mirror matches are all just kind of really annoying to play so this personally this pirate deck is what i'm going to be playing for um the remainder of this patch until we get the new patch with all of the champion updates uh stuff like that like when we start getting the katarina updates the you know leblanc and garen udir nocturne like all those people well uh I'll, I'll probably change my deck up then because ash looks kind of silly um ash kind of broken with a new buff not gonna lie so we'll uh we'll, we'll we'll play this until then deck number three is going to be feel the rush so again this is a more combo heavy variant this is extremely greedy you're on seven ramp pieces i believe some are even playing eight ramp pieces um and to that's all this is now this is just turned into a combo deck more than a control deck so this is your go-to combo deck if you want to have a better game against control you essentially do the same thing here where you're like oh i'm just going to try and combo off and turn six like feel the rush you turn uh turn six like trend to mirror you with atrocity stuff like that um but what makes this worse than shimano shirima is this is more interactable people can deny your field the rush people can obliterate your champions people can just um if they remove your champions your deck's not very good um, if they swarm you out the deck's not very good but the benefits that this deck has over mono shirima is you're better into aggro so all these uh, outside of like pirates even into pirates like you're not horrible but you're not very good but into things like the riven victor and the lulu fizz like the bigger combo decks you should be fine into because you have the ruination you have the vengeance you have the piercing darkness so you can usually deal with these other combo decks that are only going one big unit and these are mostly going to be like your uh victor deck so your victor lisa and your victor riven um you're like riven you know whatever uh, that's basically what this deck is going to be your like draven rumble decks like this deck is going to be better into those matchups while still being a, a super heavy combo deck than something like mono Shurima will be because mono Shurima can't actually remove a really big rumble very easily um, but this deck can it just goes you know vile feast vengeance boom i just killed your huge ass champion that had spell shield and you've invested a bunch of cards into um so that's why you would play ftr over mono Shurima in that case um Deck number four is going to be Victor Riven. So Victor got a really huge buff recently, and Ambush card is kind of broken. It, Ambush is so broken that they're actually nerfing it in the upcoming patch. So um, this is uh, Victor Riven, but really this could also be something like Draven Rumble, if that's more your style, if you like, you know, Draven or Rumble. They all do the same thing, I'm not going to lie to you. Every single Noxus PNZ deck right now, um, outside of Caitlyn Ezreal, is literally just Ambush.deck. You're just trying to figure out like how you want to play ambush even like all your pnz deck right now outside of Ezreal caitlin are just ambush decks like do you want to ambush like victor lee sin do you want to ambush victor rivet do you want to ambush um like rumble draven so all it is is just like ambush and overwhelm style decks uh so what this has to it and the benefits this is is it's good into the monosharima because you're usually like really aggressive and you have really big units 
but um this unit or this style of deck is going to be better into the wide removal style decks so for instance the field of rush decks if maybe they're playing like multiple avalanches and they're on a less greedy version you should beat those because you're just trying to make one large unit and a lot of decks have trouble killing large units like you know yordle norms can't kill a big unit so if yordle in arms doesn't go like unit 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 like yordle in arms you attack on turn five this deck can kill you on turn five with the ribbon it kills you on turn six pretty consistently and turn seven you are a one thousand percent dead so this deck consistently kills you on turn six not many other decks can deal with that especially if it's like with the big unit if your victor rolls the spell shield or the scout or something like that then that you know turn six otk clock can sometimes be scooted up to turn five even which is pretty silly and then finally for the last deck we're going to talk about here is yordle in arms uh, i say this for last because there isn't much to say about this this deck just gives you free lp sometimes like literally i cast a fight night recently and i've been watching tournaments and sometimes no matter how bad the matchup is the yordle arms player just goes one drop two drop three drop like multiple units on turn four boom yordle in arms turn five and the opponent just literally cannot deal with it like caitlin ezreal is supposed to be a really bad matchup for this deck because of all the traps all the removal spells uh stuff like that and i literally watched yordle in arms just go okay play units for four turns turn five yordle in arms kill you and the caitlin ezreal player just sits there and goes yep i guess i take it because i can't really kill you at that point i can't kill any of your units when they get really big um so yordle in arms also getting nerfed next patch uh very fun and yeah this deck is just still very crazy you're usually okay into some of the aggro decks like pirates beats you with burn but if pirates don't have a burn heavy hand and they just have only units you should come out ahead of that because you just print units like that's all you do is print units to block print units to block print units to block so any unit based swarm deck like the nar zigs is pretty popular um like sever auction something like that you should be pretty okay into because you just go here's infinite units and then i'm just going to refill like double poro cannon yordle and arms hit you for 20 elusive damage something like something silly like that um of course what you're going to be weak into is any type of control deck that has you know massive uh blighted ravines withering whales boxes stuff like that it's going to be really hard like ruination is really hard for you to deal with because whatever turn you tap out for with for yordle and arms they can just usually answer it with the ruination and that just completely takes away your turn and your win the game card um but the upside to this deck is it is extremely consistent pirates is mostly consistent like it's probably the second most consistent uh, aggro deck out there um but your and arms is by far the most consistent aggro deck in the game right now so um if you want an aggro deck these are one of the two i would personally be playing um if you just want to be playing the best deck then it's either mono Shurima or pirates for sure and these are going to be the two decks i play mostly i'll just be playing pirates um to be playing so i'll have a link to all of these decks down in the uh description below if the deck list looks a little bit different than what you're seeing right now it's because it's a more updated version with the best uh win rate so i see a lot of times people comment like oh this deck list isn't the same as the one you showed on stream or the one you showed like in the intro or the one you showed on the video and that's because i ha i give you guys the most updated deck list because you guys don't want bad deck lists you don't want outdated deck lists if the meta shifts by the time you watch this video this video comes out tuesday and you watch it next tuesday you know that's a whole week of meta shifting and then meta shifts a whole lot in one week so you know there's a chance that we see this come back to saying oh actually the best pirate deck does play like two double ups in it or something like that you know and plays fewer one drops so don't you know be scared or don't type in the comments man mr streamer this deck list isn't the exact same 40 cards that you showed on stream you ruined the video it's just take the most recent deck list i'm literally doing it to help you guys so take the most recent deck list Try that out, make any tweaks you want to. But these are the five best decks for ladder right now in Legends of Runeterra, in my opinion. If you want to see another one of these um, going over the patch and going over after we get the new patch, if you want to see what the best five decks are after that, feel free to let me know in the comments below if that's what you're interested in. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, all that jazz. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Join my Discord so you don't miss notifications on anything. I'm actually giving away 10 Infernal Kinnon skins for LOR right now. So if you want a chance to win an Infernal Kinnon skin, go ahead and uh, join my Discord. And there's going to be a hashtag giveaway channel and go you know follow the rules and stuff like that i'll also be giving away some on my twitter so go join my twitter my discord and sub here on youtube all those links will be down in the description below that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one